Going gluten-free doesn't mean you'll have to cut everything out of your diet, but it does mean you'll have to look closely at the ingredients. Hi, I'm Veronica with Watchmojo.com, and today health expert Anik Robinson shows us some tasty alternatives to your gluten-filled snacks. Making the transition to a gluten-free diet can be difficult. A lot of my clients have a bit of a panic when they have to make the transition from a regular North American diet to a gluten-free diet. They simply don't know what they're going to eat. And so if they're used to eating breads and crackers and pastries and cereals, then there are some alternatives that are gluten-free and that are a better option. These are actually from my own pantry. Now these are not staples in my diet. These are occasional foods that enter my diet, but it's good to have as an option so that you're not compromised when you are feeding your family. So it's things like, for example, brown rice crackers. And if you look at the ingredient list, pretty much it's rice, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of oil. These are chips or crackers that are made with adzuki beans. So they're actually not made from a grain or a grass, they're made from beans, which means it's a protein source, and they taste just like a chip. And these, for example, they look like rice cakes. They're not rice cakes, they're made with corn, so they're corn crackers. Popcorn, of course, is a great staple. Air pop it, make sure that you buy your kernels, organic. The brown rice pasta that I have here is actually more al dente, and people who try regular pasta and then switch over to brown rice pasta thank me because they think it tastes more delicious. And if you like doing tortillas and wraps and things like that, you can actually find stone ground corn tortillas, but a lot of times they add in flour. So you've got to watch the ingredient list. I have this one here, which is actually made from teff, which is an ancient African grain, which is mostly grown and used in Ethiopia. And now it's available here. And if you're a cereal addict, then there's rice puffs. It's basic rice puffed up that you can mix in with your milk, almond milk is a better choice. Um, but if you're already having puffed rice cereal in the morning, read the ingredients. If it's the regular commercial variety, there's wheat found in that ingredient list. So be careful, read your ingredient list, and you do not have to compromise to live gluten-free and live your best life.